in this one you will learn about how to fix it at a specific angles like the circular pattern what we had learned but here uh, what is the exact use of the three point arc you will learn it and also uh, how to give a proper constraint of the three point arc with the circle and how to trim it exactly that we will learn it So this one, we will start it with this hexagon, okay? Because the hexagon, two corner distances is provided. So first, let us draw the hexagon, okay? At the center. Because based on this center only, everything is defined. So from here, only this particular distance is defined. So from here, it is 17, and from here, it is 139 and based on this center. So if you are defined this center properly, then all things will be properly defined. Okay, so let us try to draw this. First, let's draw the hexagon over here. Okay. So let's create an example, eight. Now, in this one, let me select the front plane and make a sketch. View normal to the sketch plane. So here, first let us draw this hexagon, six-sided polygon. It can be either an inscribed or circumscribed. It won't make a difference here because we are going to define it based on end to end. Okay, so it is the dimension is not based on the circle. So it won't be a problem. So let's select circumscribed polygon. Okay. And the number of sides is six. So here one side is aligned with the vertical. So here that's how I have defined. And the distance between this two is given as 117. Okay. You can see it over here. It is 117. So let's define it as 117 between these two corners. Okay. Then we are going to define this circle. Okay. This circle and another circle, which is of radius 40. Okay. Another one is of radius 20. Okay. Let us try to draw that. Two circles along this vertical line. One circle diameter 20 and another circle diameter 40. Diameter 40 and 80. Sorry. So that. Diameter 40 is 1 and diameter 80 is 1. Then from this corner to the center. It is given as 139 mm. Okay. So distance from this corner to this point is 139 mm. Okay. 139. So you got a two circles here. Okay. Now, similar way, we need to draw those two circles over here at an angle of 120 degree. So it is like a circular pattern with three uh, equal uh, spacing. Okay, So equal spacing, we have drawn three instances. Okay. So let's try to make a circular pattern of this so that you will get it at the equal spacing. Okay, 360 divided by 3, it will become defaultly 120. Okay. Let's fix it over here. You get it at equal spacing. Okay. 
so if you want to define that so you can draw a construction line over here let us change it as construction here let me draw a construction line here let me draw a construction and let's define the dimension between this two as 120 okay and between this two as 120 okay so now you got it as fully constrained okay now we need to draw an arc here this arc okay which is of radius 250 is given okay so we cannot draw it with the center point arc because there is no center point is given over here so this is the best example to draw the three point arc okay so 250 radius okay so only it is defined by the radius so a three point arc one point is on this circle another point is on this circle and the radius is like this okay so here the radius is 250 mm okay but still it is not properly defined so what you need to do is you have to make this arc tangent to the circle okay try to make it tangent by applying the constraint between this one and this one and the arc and the circle okay so you can see it becomes black okay so it is fully constrained now you can draw it manually over here or you can use the circular pattern both is possible okay so here manual drawing i had already shown it in the first one so let us try to make a circular pattern of this so automatically it will be assigned with this one. okay three lines okay so if you try to apply one tangential constraint so you will get everything as a block Sometimes whenever you are uh, making a circular pattern, sometimes it won't apply a constraint properly. So try to apply an extra constraint will give you that, okay? But in this example, we don't have the segment, this segment of the arc here, okay? In all those instances, that segment of the arc is not available. You can see it over here. So let's try to do that with a trim trim this two portion of the arc this two portion of the arc and this two portion of the arc okay so we can define it exactly as per the dimensions 